Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition, although this isn't really an episode. Instead, this is going to be highlights of our Renegade Shepard playthrough, one of the worst playthroughs I have ever done of Mass Effect, ever. And there are some truly brutal moments coming up in this. But first, we're going to show how we dealt with Pharos. We convinced Ethan Jong, but then proceeded to slaughter every single civilian. I'm really sorry, colonist, but uh, Renegade Shepard, you, you were shooting at him, and he's not the type to be shot at. So, how did we deal with Shiala, you might ask? You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable, but you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. And in one of the most brutal executions ever. Renegade Shepard is a monster. Private property. And the way Your we dealt with Novaria in Giana is even Internal worse. Affairs, she said. Eh. That is good to know. Would you mind stepping outside? I'm afraid I will have to let Miss Parasini go. It can't wait. Your mind has not been fully on your duty to me. I don't understand, sir. I'm not losing this job. Analeas, if I don't report in, the board will figure it out. Put the weapon- I said I'm not losing this job! And they murdered each other. My bad. Mother of... Corporal, secure the area. Keep everyone out of here, now! Yes, ma'am. What happened here, Commander Shepard? I told Analeas that Gianna was internal affairs. I thought it would pressure him into helping me. Well, not everyone responds to fear rationally. I didn't think Analeas Sama was this tightly wound. Excuse me, Commander. The death of an executive must always be filed in triplicate. But don't worry. We are still able to get the garage pass from his body. Pretty easy way, actually. But how did we deal with the guards? I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. We did the hot labs first, which means that Captain Ventralis will tell us what I was saying all along. He's working for Benezia. Told you. What about you the Rachni Queen? You have to free us, or we turn our people to the silence of memory. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. We can't exterminate them, not without the Council's approval. Genocide is one of the reasons we fought the Krog- ah. You want to learn about genocide, Vagarian? I'll take you to a Krogan obstetrician's office. Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? If you cannot have us as your obedient claws? This time, stay dead. We will not embrace the great silence. And in one of the saddest scenes in the entire game, Just like that, the Rachni are extinct. Solve this situation now. I am afraid things might become awkward. Of course, we do have to oh, deal with our awkward, new love huh? triangle here. I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. 
Maybe we should I think try we to... Might. I may not know much about human Jealous relations. Jealous? Of you? Perhaps that I... is why you feel threatened. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. I love it when women fight over me. Sorry, Commander. That fantasy's not gonna happen. <laughs> We're not married, Shepard. You wanna get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. You're special to me, Ash. Yeah? Kinda hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little blue friend on the side. Or is that my role? This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you of my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position, I am sorry. I never meant for you to get hurt, but Ash is the one I really care about. I understand, Commander. Perhaps it is for the best. She is one of your own kind. I am sure you and Miss Williams will be very happy. I should... go. I need to... check on something. Dear God, I think I actually feel sorry for her. That's a surprise. A second ago you seemed ready to break her neck. Or yours. No one likes to feel like they're not good enough to get what they want. Let's not talk about this here. It's not really the right setting for intimate conversation. And of course, Renegade Shepard has to sleep with that with Ashley. But this has to be here. Done. We go. Saren's the, the enemy, worst not me. Thing we could possibly do in a playthrough. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it? Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Commander, are you... all right? I'm feeling a hell of a lot better than he is. Uh, yeah, I guess so. What happened? He just proved to us why this place needs to be completely destroyed. Damn. I know he was angry. I just didn't think he'd lose his life over it. Better him than the commander. Yeah. That... I suppose. ...is horrible! Yeah, I guess a renegade can intimidate him, but I wanted to show a drastically different scene, and that's as drastically different as we can get. Oh, man. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding gas all over the bomb site. Hold on, Chief. I'm coming back to get you. Negative! It's too late for us! There's just too many of them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Play that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get William. Shepard, renegade Shepard, deciding that his personal relationship is more important, saving Ashley. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. And what happens when you decide to save Ashley instead of Caden? Captain Kirahe also dying in this playthrough. As we sent Caden to go with him as well. Renegade Shepard sucks, dude. Alright, everybody, hang on! I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? We had to leave him behind. Saren has to be stopped, at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. And for Captain Anderson, 
If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. He's going to Citadel Control. Oh, and I promised I would show this, Police so have been seen in Al -Jalani, get West ready. News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? I've had enough of your snide insinuations. Out of nowhere! You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. Spoiler, it wasn't over. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! <gasps> Anderson gets shot, but the Normandy is able to leave the Citadel. And we got some human-on-human -human action here, coming up next. Now. Skipper? You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. I don't believe me yet. Believe me then, you're doing the right thing. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. It occurs to me that this might be our last night alive. Got any plans? Trying a frontal assault. <laughs> All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect. To draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done... I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me.
now. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> you still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. So, getting to the final fight with Saren, let's take him down without convincing him to take himself out. So instead of shooting himself, he gets a giant piece of glass sticking out of his chest. And finally, order, a huge now decision. The or hold, back. hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. I hope you know what you're doing, human. Don't let the Council die in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Joker is a cold, cold man. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? These are strange times, Captain. The battle with Sovereign changed everything, and we need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership, real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone, humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just gonna bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human Council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? 
You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. And that is the worst playthrough I've ever done of Mass Effect 1. Absolutely terrible, but that is the Renegade Shepherd. Back to Commander Corey Shepard and the storytelling that comes with Mass Effect 2.